Hey guys, Thunderstrike 101 here, back with another video, and today, we're back on Slug Terror. This is episode 10 of season 3, uh, what is this called? The Fall of the Eastern Champion. Well, this is, uh, guessing this is backstory, but, uh, yeah, backstory on, uh, Junji, 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 yeah, Junji, but, uh, Anyways, let's let's get into it. <sighs> oh, and uh, I got be a better quality video. Much better. For all you have done to return Peach Blossom Spring Cavern to what it was before the Emperor's Look reign, at this. this is but a small amazing quality. Thanks. Yeah, but small. Bruto slaved over a hot pot all day to create this feast. Voila! You got this small. And it's all you've got a slug canister in there. I'm not sure what to call it. Very fun. And it's also a lot more saturated. Sorry, looks like dinner's gonna be a little late. And apparently Ponto is a really good cook, even if he makes human food. There's something I've been wanting to ask you about. And what is that? Everything! Where did the Emperor come from? What were the Eastern Caverns like before him? Oh yeah, the kid was born before that. That is a lot of questions, and it is a very long story. Come on, June Jay. The kid's dying to know. Yeah, tell him the story, June. It was epic and amazing. All right, but to answer all your questions, it would be best if I start at the beginning. Come on, back on the plate. Okay. And in much better quality as well, as I said. Picture is much more saturated. I'm ready for this. Oh, it's phenomenal quality. After the horrible 240p or something episodes. The story begins 88 generations ago in a land called China. China? My ancestor. Yang, a great archer. Oh. Yang lived at the time of the first emperor. The emperor was a cruel and evil man, obsessed with finding the mythical elixir of life, a potion that supposedly granted immortality. The emperor cared little about the lives of others. In fact, he believed all others lived only to serve him. Yang refused to kneel and earn the Emperor's wrath. There was nowhere in China safe for Yang now. Yang floated on the water, unconscious, the current taking him wherever it flowed. Yang discovered a mythical place that wasn't a myth. It was deep inside a holy mountain. Yang passed through the waterfall and found a secret grotto that led to an even greater secret. Slug Terra. Peach Blossom Spring Cavern, the most beautiful and tranquil land Yang had ever seen, and a place he would soon call home. In Peach Blossom Spring, Yang created a refuge for people to escape the harsh rule of the Emperor. Oh! But the Emperor so people moved the here. place outside of his control. He hunted day and night for Peach Blossom Spring Cavern, but it was well hidden. Yang and his people soon discovered they were not alone. There were others who had long lived in the caverns. Cave tools. Most were friendly. Some were not. Mm. But Peach Blossom Spring had its defenses as well. Slugs. Yang discovered dozens of different kinds. 
Frost Crabs, Geo Shards, Bubbly Oaks, even an Infernus. <laughs> and watching them, Yang, a great archer, also a master of ancient martial arts, got an idea. He combined them with this new art to create slug food. Once again, how long do these slugs live for? Yang protected Peach Blossom from all dangers it faced. Nice. The first Eastern Champion. The people of my cavern were safe and happy for many years. Until one... The Emperor found Peach Blossom Spring Cavern? Yes. And thus began the battle for my home. A struggle that would take 2,000 years to reach its end. In defense of the caverns, Yang garnered many enemies. One such scoundrel, a greedy rogue who wanted revenge on Yang, returned to the Emperor's realm above and revealed the hidden location of Peach Blossom Spring Cavern. Are there just some entrance to the surface? Yang and his slug stood in their way. Yeah. The Emperor had powerful magic. Magic? Yang faced the Emperor's magic. Okay, slugs versus magic. The powers unleashed in their battle were so great. They ripped a chasm in the very floor of Peach Blossom Spring Cavern. Using his slug food. Yang had won. But the Emperor... Was not finished. Deep caverns? He fell 18 levels underground. And there, he landed in a pool of the vile liquid you know as dark water. It's all is right. The Emperor Where the... had long sought immortality. Now, the dark water gave it to him. I said before. First, immortality. Yeah. The dark water corrupted the Emperor into something stronger than a man, and also something less. Than human. I said this before, he kind of resembled the black had been transformed somewhat. into a monstrosity. Infused with the corrupt energies, he gained abilities no man has ever had. Wow. Magic crossed with dark water. And I mean actual magic. The Emperor used them to forge a new army of warriors out of the molten rock. Then bring them to life. The Emperor's stone warriors were soulless automatons. They existed only to obey. He ordered them to climb up to 19 levels of Earth. And Junji knows about this. Blossom Spring. Well, but the stone warriors could not enter Peach Blossom Spring Cavern. The path from below was blocked by a guardian gate built by the Shadow Clan. Mysterious creatures who live in caverns' shadows. The gate was powered by guardian slugs. There were 11 in all. A thresher, an aqua beak, a taserling, a ram stone, a vine drill, a frost crawler, a tornado, a tornado, a pop rock, a fright geist. A flatulator hinkus and a boondock. Each guardian was once a normal slug, but through careful training by the Shadow Clan, they gained a level of power few other slugs can match. Together, they used their energies to power a magic seal in the center of the gate. It prevented anything infused with dark energy from passing through, including the Stone Warriors and the Emperor himself. As How about the dark vein? Energy remained strong. He could only seethe. And so, Yang and all of his descendants after him continued to use Slug Fu to keep Peach Blossom Cavern safe. And so it went until my day, my time for my family's duty to pass to me. I told you that excellence requires you try your hardest. Until the results match your effort. Yeah, recycled design. And now they have. Choo choo. This infernus has been passed down from Yang himself through 88 generations of ancestors. It belongs to the defender of these caverns. And now that is.
is you. I was now the protector of Peach Blossom Spring. The Eastern Champion. Okay. I have nothing to say about this, I'm just enjoying the episode. That arose, a much greater one was growing down below. The Emperor had not threatened Peach Blossom Spring Cavern for close to 2,000 years. The only things keeping him going inside his dark imprisonment was his hatred for Yang and his desire for vengeance. Slugs rarely ventured that far below Peach Blossom Spring Cavern. Yeah. He used the vile powers of the dark water to corrupt slugs. Similar to black. Into monstrosities. Recalling his battle with Yang, the Emperor got a dark idea. Using his magic, he forged a great weapon. Yeah, magic, not slug, slug food. His dark power. A proper magic. A sword. A sword that could fire ghouled slugs. Spells, enchantments, incantations, things like that. Actual magic magic. Yeah. And he doesn't need slug food for this. Slugs get their strength from the magical energies that flow between them. It took the Emperor years to goon enough slugs, but eventually the damage was done. So many slugs turned into goons. The slug energy that powered the seal on the Guardian Gate was failing. Wow! The gate could no longer hold back the Emperor. Suck on that, Dark Bane! Like, how do you like that apples? Comes the uh, yeah, that one. Each blossom spring will fall. your training. Listen to your instincts. Trust in Juju. He's been through this before. Yes. Okay. We must rally the others and form a defense. There. Yes. But I will gather the others and mount the defense. And you, you must go on the offensive. I was the Eastern Champion. The protector of Peach Blossom Spring. I had trained every day of my life for this very moment, and now I was about to confront the most evil and powerful enemy I would ever have to face. Oh, and that was a Mega Wolf. Get out! 
Seem to slaughter at peace with the Shadow Clan. Yeah, he had magic. He's like a very powerful dark wizard. Can the sword do? I'm sure I can do more than just shoot slugs. The weak looking crown. Uh, his friend, her, her something, the cave troll we saw in the first episode. Corrupted, yeah. Two thousand years, and you have learned nothing new. Bathed in the goon's dark energy, I could feel it corrupting me from within. Belong to me, 
you and I will have a larger realm to rule. For who will be able to stop us with you as my servant? Uh, animation and voice were a bit off. Whoa, what he said. After that, I spent many dark years under the goon's control. Until my friends say yeah and that of course is where your story really begins because that is when you met Bruto and with my help smashed the emperor <laughs> he's not coming back is he the emperor you have nothing more to fear from him. Yeah, after what we did to him, kid, he ain't never doing anything. And you all have the protection of the Shane Gang, the Easter Champion, and, of course, Pronto! Help me, Master. Show me what I must do. <laughs> okay, then. Yeah, sorry I didn't say much, but... Uh... Wait. Sorry I didn't say much, but... Yeah, this was a great backstory episode. And... They were descended from China, apparently. And... The Emperor... Wait... Uh, sorry. The Emperor knows magic. I thought, it, I thought it was just slug food, but no, it's actual magic. Like, beams, spells, incantations, shield and everything. Actual magic magic. I thought it was just some like advanced technology or slug energy, but no. And well, Dark Bane aren't the worst things from the Eastern Caverns. Mm, Dark Bane aren't the worst things from the Deep Caverns. Nowhere near it. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.